Hey, this is Captain Noob, but this is a fancy pump action shotgun. This particular weapon can be obtained by the player by redeeming the Pleasant Valley claim tickets with the basement dwelling protectron that you'll find at Pleasant Valley. So this is a pump action shotgun that you get with a 1.5% chance roll um, every time you do a claim ticket redeem, and yeah, makes it fairly rare until the dupers want to, you know, start duping this and passing it around, but they've probably looked past this thing because the legendary effects here are definitely not what you'd consider to be meta, but I do think it's got some pretty cool things here. Obviously, the uh, anti-armor bit is uh, good for shotguns because they don't actually give you an, um, an armor passing by perk, like tank killer for um, rifles or uh, stabilized for heavy guns, so getting that extra armor penetration, especially when your individual projectiles will be hitting for such low damage, is a good thing, and the 50% limb damage is known to be broken on weapons that hit in a very fast succession, and shotguns firing multiple pallets per shot can definitely reap the benefits from that. Yeah, fix that one, Bethesda. You just... Oh, wait, you're just gonna nerf damage. All right, never mind. We've also got 50 damage resistance whilst aiming. It's a three-star weapon. We've got 118 damage. Let's apply some of these perks whilst the perks are actually worth using, you see. The extra multiplicative bonuses you gain out of these perks, although we're only 15% apiece, is actually quite a lot more than you get out of the... Um, the perks, the the perk cards you can apply on the PTS of the reformed damage um, rebalance at the moment. Um, it, it's barely worth making builds at all at that point. But yep, with all of these things applied, 217 damage, which is um, standard um, for the hardened receiver. So I've got this thing to replicate. Um, well, the the parts and look with it. Um, this is just the standard skin, um, a completely different shotgun. But I've got the same range and accuracy stats. Um, the difference here is the damage, and I looked on the um, Fallout 76 edit, and the only thing that's different here, I think, is the barrel. So, maybe that gives you a little bit more damage, but the the thing's pretty undercooked and underdeveloped, so I couldn't tell you much more than that. Um, from preliminary testing, this thing actually has a quicker reload time, which is useful, and a 12-round magazine as opposed to 8. So that's pretty good. It also hasn't got that heat shield on the top of it, so careful of your thingies, you might burn them off. Anyways, I think I've talked about this for long enough, let's get started. Okay, note the uh, perks we're using here, Marathon and Moving Target. Obviously, we're going to consume a lot of less action points while we're sprinting and gaining resistance, and that's to synergize with the suit of armor that I'm currently wearing. So, this is unyielding cavalier stuff, so, you know, not being a suppressed shotgun, we're going to take a lot of bullets, and being a close range weapon, we're going to sprint nice and close to our enemies to actually, uh, get in close to maximize the damage potential of this. So without further ado, let us begin, and we'll see what we can do with this. Unfortunately, when we are shooting these guys, um, we're not going to be able to get a whole lot of damage. <sighs> really? Okay. We're, we're seeing a lot of rubber banding right now, but once we get our um, adrenaline up, I guess, and adrenal reaction going, further boosting my unyielding potential, then we're good. See, um, maybe you probably want to use this for melee, but potentially you could use it for sneaking as well, I um, mean, for shotguns as well, because you want to get in nice and close. Really? You're just gonna... Hmm. Perhaps Adamantium Skeleton would have been a good pick here. But now we're at a state where we can kill these guys in a few shots, which is good. And we're not really cooking this, um at the moment. I've got a special armor bit that can make this completely friggin broken, but as you can tell with the limb damage, we're getting hundreds and hundreds of damage per shot on these guys according to uh, what the game is saying, which is kind of interesting, and I think we can actually maximize on that when we um, go into that. And 413 damage, that's pretty good if we switch over to this. Obviously a lot more, but you know, it's a bloody, what do you expect? Okay, so now we're just sprinting in, and if we just vats the chest, or the torso, that seems to do the job very well. Okay, it threw me off there. It started howling after it was dead, so yeah, I don't know what that's all about. But yes, with the unyielding um, boosting my perception, I gain a little bit more vats accuracy, meaning from all the way back here, well, all the way back back where I was just a good it's good accuracy all right if you can get all of the pellets and it does more damage than it should um and yeah 
if I wanted to make this thing more powerful, I'd just wear that, but I oh, don't think I have to. I think the limb damage is doing quite enough. Uh, typical of them to give you a completely broken item at a very, very low drop rate, isn't it? Now, I did purposely shoot all of the super mutants outside without using that. It's just to make a point here, because, um, well, if I just lock on from all the way back here, just press Q, press mouse button one, and you kill everything in one shot, but... I'm f it's really hard not to complain about Bethesda's direction for changing the game here, because they're gonna leave shit like this in, where you can just munt them. I could probably be at full health in doing this. I'll just pop a stim pack to wear that adrenal reaction off and I mean if you're gonna pull back damage all the way and still allow us to do this if we've got the proper setup and you know fancy shotgun there I mean as far as getting yourself an anti-armor limb damage uh, shotgun <laughs> the, the claim ticket might be the easiest way to go, even though the appallingly low drop rate will, you know, will probably mean that you won't see it for a very long time. But, I mean, it's an effective weapon here, you can tell that, but it's just broken. It's busted. It actually makes it a very appealing weapon now that, you know, you can just crush everything with it like this. Very effortless gameplay here, just... Find vats, and shoot them, grab yourself some AP regen armor so you can tick up your AP, and if you want to sprint around and go all Rambo style like me, except Rambo didn't use a shotgun, well, uh, all Doom Guy style, yeah, that's better, well, you can do that, just uh, if you want to make sure you consume as, as little AP as you're running as possible, and I do have custom fitted on my armor bit, so... We're barely consuming any AP at all. We could probably sprint from here to White Springs on one AP bar and then wait two seconds and it'll be back. And let's just go in here because why not? Um, thinking what I might do is we've got the ammo capacity, right? And we could drop this for gun fill, I reckon. Stop shooting me, I'm changing perks. Yeah, that seems to be the way to do it. Like, you'd need, like, 30% more damage on this anyway, but... <laughs> just wall hacks. Uh, pretty standard stuff there from Fallout 76. It's, uh... It's a game that's gone in many weird directions. Remember, they didn't give us NPCs at first, and then come Wastelanders. We've got people to talk to. Isn't that nice? Okay, I think we get the point. I can't be bothered taking out the rest of these guys. So if you're a shotgunner and are uh, disappointed in your damage, just uh, obtain yourself one of these or anything else with limb damage on it. Nothing else matters pretty much. This could be like a, a hunter's limb damage and still crush everything. Not that, not that uh, we're doing a whole lot with the anti-armor prefix anyway. That one was legendary. Ooh, life-saving. <laughs> Alright. I'll buy it. Let me just find it. There it is. You know, I've been toying with live saving quite a lot, and please tell me I've got Revenant here. Well, do now, and I'll be editing that out because, uh... <laughs> I took some time to reallocate some stuff on my build. So I'm running Skeet Shooter at rank 3 now, and I've just pulled off, um... Concentrated Fire rank 2. Um, pulled it down to rank 2, and yeah... Point blank when the chest there didn't quite get the kill shot with one, so you know, just use that. The game will sort of win itself for you. And now I can sit here and tank the damage. I got a coin flip chance as to whether I'll live or not, and you know, those are kind of odds that I'll make an XCOM soldier shoot an alien with. <laughs> that guy's having no part of it, he was trying to get out. Yeah, no escape from this one, mate. Oh, it's a baby Earl. You get the headshot and cr critical cheat, uh, treatment. Should really be playing combat music now? Don't think I'm struggling at all, game. Yeah, probably just go for torso shots. Doesn't really matter where you hit him. The damage is going to slap itself on either way. So you you might as well just make the hit guaranteed. Just, just literally go for center mass torso and you'll be right. This guy gets the torso treatment. 
shot him through a bush. Nice. Okay, with my new life-saving gear on me, we're going to lose a little bit of our damage with uh, our damage resistance from the old uh, Cavaliers thing, but we've got a coin flip chance to get back up, which means these guys who... Not super often, but they have killed me in the past. Well, not today. But if they did, I'll get back up again and shoot them with another 50% more damage because I so, so desperately need it. Won't be 50% next patch, will it? Nothing's multiplicative. But if, if that is multiplicative, then everyone will just be killing themselves for Revenant all the time. So, you know, they got to make it consistent there. Ooh, Master Yoda, you survived. He's uh, doing a good job to tank it, I'll tell you that much. Got staggered though. That's uh, interesting for a shotgun to do. I don't think I've noted any staggering with a shotgun before versus uh, Swan there. So, we'll have to investigate this further. It'd be nice if it gave you a stagger chance with this thing because with the multiple projectiles. You could pretty much stun lock stuff, which is, you know, a good utility thing. Not that you'd probably use it when your weapon is outputting this much damage, but, you know, for stuff like a spawn that's a little bit too big to be killed so cheaply, well, maybe you'd find yourself in good hands there. Now that Mylurk King needs to go down. Looks like the tankier stuff survives. Did I even shoot that guy? I didn't even see the numbers. Weird. Oh, I got rattle hands. You know, that probably isn't going to affect me all that much. I do believe that's a 25% decrease with ranged weapons. That's no good. We'll keep on going regardless because that 25% means nothing anyway. Oh yeah, you can't VAT in uh, third person in the water. <laughs> I guess it meant something. Alright, round two. See, we got the headshots. It's the oversized shit seems to be resistant to this uh, nonsense, isn't it? That's weird. Probably means that Scorch Beasts are too, but I think I've noted that they are susceptible to stuff like that. Usually with explosive shotguns, they're not because, you know, they're explosive resistance, but yeah, it looks like the only thing that can stop the. Um, the crazy broken damage, at least in this state where I'm not using my, uh, what's it, the, the leg that makes me get more damage for some reason. Looks like that the big ones seem to be resistant to it, so, you know, that gives them a bit of a threat level. Alrighty, let's get some adrenaline. Uh, go for the torso, please. Guarantee those hits better. Ooh. That one seemed to take a pro Oh wait, no. Hang on, that first shot completely whiffed because I only got a couple of pallets on him before. That's right. Well, they found me. Let's see what you got, Bat. Now, I don't have fireproof on, which is potentially harmful for my health, but if you would please land. Ah, good man. Let's find the torso and... Yeah, that's a lot more damage than I should be getting. So the Scorch Beast don't seem to be as resistant to it as Swan or the uh, Mylurk Queen. Do all the screaming you want, mate. It's not going to help you all that much. Alright, let's see if we can uh, pop old mate as he comes out of his little hidey hole. If he teleports out. Not today. That's fine. Uh, one of the things you could do pre-patch with shotguns is run them with... Uh, the strangle hard armor, and you'd get all of the nice. You get all of the um, the the uh, stacking damage over time per pallet, which you know potentially made shotguns very good, even against a scorch beast queen who has just got a huge resistance against those type of weapons, whether they're explosive or not. But you know they took that away um, due to console reasons. Actually, it just affect performance too much, and anyone on a PC that is lesser than mine, because I was never too badly affected by it. When I did stack on tons of it, I just turned the camera away so the particle effects wouldn't draw and, you know, let that go for a second, and by the time I've turned around again, a lot of them have worn off, and then I was able to play it again, but... Yeah, 
Possibly the thing was never meant to be stacking like it did in the first place. But, look, I think you get the point of this thing. It's incredibly powerful only because it is broken. As you saw in the, pro in the first uh, clips in the video when I was killing super mutants with it, the health bars were rubber banding around and you're generally doing what kind of damage you'd expect out of these things. A two, three shot kill on super mutants before you got the adrenaline stacked up. But then you can just vats everything and just shoot them. Just, they just die. If you've got all of this unyielding gear, you can just increase your perception in order to you know, in, uh, increase your accuracy and just kill everything. Just press Q, mouse button one, and you're done with that enemy entirely. Unless they're Swan or a Mylurk Queen. And I mean, if you want a really powerful weapon, I can recommend this, but... I mean, what's the downsides of this? Its range is bad, but you can just run up to them and stim pack if you're at low health, unlike me. So... Yeah, it's pretty good. It's broken, but what isn't in this game?